Hello and welcome folks. League numero 3 from today's stream. I'm having some fun playing Karn. It's a good time. It's a good time. Boating, boating people is surprisingly exhilarating. I recommend it. Strongly, strongly recommend it. Just boat him, you know? Just boat him! Only the first two went. Uh, we started with a 2-3, but it was kind of like a weird 2-3. We lost some weird matches. Then we went 4-1. and one. Our loss was to Eldrassitron, where we just didn't find a Titan in 7 turns. A Titan or a Karn, both, both of which would, would have ended the, the game on the spot. But we just didn't find them. And this is League number 3. This is a good, this is a good opener, though. I like this. What do we bought up though? Because hmm. Scout plus Dryad, uh, Scout plus this lands is a guaranteed turn three Titan. Is it crazy that I want to bottom the Dryad? I think I'm gonna bottom the Dryad. It feels so crazy to do that, but like I need every, like I need every single piece of the Buffalo. Yeah, you would be surprised at how many land drops we'd miss today in recall. <laughs> so just joined a few minutes ago to affect the miss of the holdy. How many campaign decks have you run into so far today? Four or five, maybe more? Somewhere around there. Alright, this is Big Tron. <clears throat> Amulet? Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate because I guess it depends on what they do here. My opponent says that they're they're a big fan, which I appreciate. Thank you so much, opponent. Alright, there's a turn three. Expedition map. Well, that kind of really sucks. Um, I guess I'm, this gives me the most options. We only get punished by playing semi Growth Chamber here if we draw exactly Amulet and nothing else. So... I think it's correct to do that. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how how the next couple of turns are are going to play out. Because uh, if I go squatter here, then my opponent spends their next turn. Like, we know that they have Tron, right? So that part is easy. So, like, if I spend this turn go squatter and instead of tightening, I'm going to need to pay for pack next turn. Hmm. So, I guess that the line is going to be to play go squatter plus castle. And then I'm going to pack for Titan, and I'm going to get Tolari West on Vesuva copying the Ghost Quarter, because it's the only way that I can... It's I mean, this would be a lot easier if we didn't have to pay for a pack next turn. Which is really tough. But this at least allows me a way out. Chief! Wait, the host! Thank you so much for, for the host, Chief. How's it going? How was your stream? <clears throat> and welcome everybody from the Chiefs stream. Playing some Amulet today, celebration of companions being nerfed. Always a good time. So my opponent needs this, they have, they need to have the current liberated or we win, probably. Sweet, they don't have it. That's awesome. Great for us. Ooh. 
Worm is mildly annoying here. <laughs> That's not a card. <clears throat> yeah, so now <clears throat> this Titanus is going to take over because we're going to be able to probably just double go squatter. Anti climax track task. What do I think about companion changes? As my opponent. One, two, three, four, five. So we play this, which is six. Thank you for the follow there, Nice94. So now we can attack. We can get field. Um, plus Valakut? Yeah, that sounds fine. So next turn we can actually transmit for Dryad and start doing the thing. So they take six. Um, I guess I'm going to make my land drop here first <clears throat> and now i guess so i have to go start a ghost quarter one now and then i'm gonna go quarter the other one on on the draw step <laughs> this is the way that we just mess with their like we just don't allow them to idolize their mana right so we go ghost quarter them there and now we go quarter the mine i guess Now they can use two mana to sack one of these, but that doesn't really matter. Vesua to copy Ursula and the power move. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff, that's good stuff. So now we can transmute. I guess Dryad is just lethal, but we play into this member, which I'm not too excited about. What we could do is we could go find, like make more zombies and then like transmute for blue pact. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I guess that now that makes things a lot easier, right? <clears throat> One, two, three. Get in there, guys. Go get him. Uh, so we cross chamber to the west. Going face, obviously, better than kill the Thraktas, right? <clears throat> always yes, always you. Let's go. All right. This is a uh, big tron. So I can speak tron. Cyborg like this. Easy clean sideboarding. Sometimes the line is to just hope that your opponent doesn't have it. <laughs> Go 
<laughs> but if you want to do it, rack test. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Definitely moving on this. Opponent moves to five. I think I actually like this hand a lot. I think I'm just gonna bottom the prime time here. Three. We have turn two beast within turn three Carno. I'll for sure try to not have to use that ghost quarter. So it's probably better for us to do this main phase so our opponent cannot crack expedition map. <clears throat> Name giant here. Yeah. So beast within that one. So now hopefully, like we take three, but that's whatever. And we, our opponent hopefully cannot crack their expedition map. It is. <clears throat> no attacks is interesting. Okay. Crack expedition map. Okay, so I think the line, I think the line is plus this turn, next turn, so we plus this turn, we block and play TOS, next turn we packed for Dryad plus minus for coding. It doesn't destroy the land, but it effectively does it, and it pulls a 2-4, which is pretty good against that 3-3. Three, three. Nikachu with the raid. Welcome, everybody, from Nikachu stream. My name is Francisco. You, you actually might know me from Nikachu's uh, YouTube channel. We did a couple of videos with him. Justin C7789, thank you for the, for the <clears throat> follow there. But, yeah. We're playing some amulet. Amulet uh, Mondays are always amulet Mondays here on this channel. So, all right, that's like the nuts draw. I right, appreciate all the follows there. Uh, Cash Cat for Life, Vionix, and Mana Dork. Our opponent is not even close to Tron over there, which is nice for us, obviously. And Nardotto too. 
So I guess upkeep, we're just going to go after the forest here. We know that Ursus Tower is one of the remaining cards. Uh, so I guess that they could technically have something like a Nature Slame, which would suck, but it's fine. Yeah, and starting from this turn, we're just going to start blowing up their, their land every turn. Oh, believe me, Stone. Yeah, okay. So now, now we know for good that we... We know that this game is officially over now. Oblivion Stone, not very good in the face of Karn the Great Creator. Also, the fact that we just drew a Primeval Titan does help our chances considerably as well. We just we just drew the land that we were missing to, to play our Primeval Titan. I mean, I guess I mean. Do, 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 do. GG's opponent. Want to know? This is the third league that we're playing today. All of them with this beautiful list. Having some fun casting Karn the Great, Karn the Great Creators. Which is the best kind of Karn, by the way. None of that liberated nonsense that some people cast. The Great Creator is a good pal. It's a good pal of mine. I wonder what what's he doing? Is he, what's he doing there? Is he like blowing up stuff? Does he have stuff that's like floating around him? That's so weird. <clears throat> By the way, if you, if you're not aware. Uh, like the metagame right now in Magic Online is kind of all over the place. Why no steerings? Because I'm trying out this shell, Enrico. No, no real reason other than just science. Um, but yeah, so like the the metagame in Magic Online is all over the place. Like there's people that are trying their decks, um, kind of like start to test how the non-companion non -companion metagame would be like, and other people are just giving their companions like one last one last shot. Uh, so like there's not really many conclusions that we can draw for the metagame in terms of like deck building and stuff. So basically what, what I decided to do today is just play a list that I like and then we're just going with it. Hope Karn is back for good so much. Tell us an artifact just sitting in my binder. I mean, it's... That's what... Yeah, so here we have... Um, that's kind of what it's about, right? Just that uh, the, the amulet box is precisely for that. The whole point of the amulet box is you want to make sure that... Because, like, Karn is... It might not be good... It, it might not be back for good right now, but it might be back in, like, six months. So I never, I never sell the cards from my, from my amulet box. This is not turn two Karn. This is turn three Karn. Unless we draw an Asusa or we draw another amulet, any one of those would allow me to Gigantatron. <clears throat> huh? That's kind of unfortunate, honestly. Because like, we can't actually pack for Asusa and cast Karn here, which would be great. Uh, I... Should I develop my mana? This is like when Ancient Steering really shined. I think I'm just going to draw. And I'm just going to just develop my mana here. I get, it just leaves him with the same amount of mana for next turn. <clears throat> Hey, Aggie Benny, how's it going? Welcome. Okay. Will your camera deck be back on the docket now? More, more decks will have seven cards in hand again. Loved it and would like to see any more innovation possible. So I don't think that that deck is very much worth innovating on because it's basically always going to be a worse amulet deck, right? So the fact that it's always going to be a worse, like, regular amulet deck lifts it 
pretty behind in that sense. Uh, but I might play it for fun. I do have some uh, for fun streams uh, pretty often on this channel, so I might play it for fun. So that's really bad for us, but probably gonna minus on the card. Yeah, makes sense. If we find any land, any land, easy. So now we can clear. We don't have lethal, unfortunately. But we're gonna be able to cast prime time here. Uh, let's think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have enough mana to pay for both packs. Should I bounce something else? So I'm gonna bounce the Valakut. I'm going to clear the Karn though, so it doesn't really make sense to, to activate again. So here we're going to get Teleria West and uh, I guess Ghost Quarter. So I get T West and Ghost Quarter, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana, yeah that seems correct to me. So our opponent will need to have exactly like whatever Trump is I destroy here. And they need us they didn't search for anyone, so they just naturally had it. So we're just guessing. So I guess I'm gonna destroy the Ursus Tower. If they naturally have it, have the Trumpies, <laughs> of course. How could I for a second think that my opponent was not gonna have it, right? It's just just a madman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we could have avoided him playing the card if coding the land instead of second. I mean, this costs two mana, and this costs one mana, Eggy. So, like, we. I played the amulet because we didn't have any other place available to us. Otherwise, yes, I would have definitely gone for that. One, two, three, four, five. And now, one, two, three, four. <sighs> Brutal. Um, is there any land that would allow us that would allow us to set up lethal here? So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go for field. And the Simic Growth Chamber. Field of the Dead, Simic Growth Chamber. Aaron with the tier one sub for the 20 months in a row, Aaron. Thank you so much for all the continued support. Really appreciate it. Scale of 1 to 10, how have you missed me? Oh, by the way, why didn't they ban Astrolabe? At least they made change the companion, yeah. Uh, the no Astrolabe ban is interesting. I'm more I'm more interested to see why they didn't ban Astrolabe in Legacy. More so than in Modern. But, yeah, it's definitely interesting. What are we going to bounce here? Let's see if we have enough mana. So we play, they take six, they go down to 14. We packed for Dryad. We play one land, 
that is two mana. We play a second land that's six mana. That's not enough. That's unfortunate. So I want to not play into O Stone. So I guess that I'm simply gonna do this and just pass the turn. It's not like the most exciting thing, but like O Stone or Ugin seem like the only way that I can possibly lose this game here. I guess Ulema could also be a, be a problem. Because three to move from your cyber to your hand or social speed once per game. Yeah, that's true, Iron. That's that's where it is. Sylvan Scrying. Alright. So this could be O Stone and it would be pretty annoying. Basically because it means that I don't just kill my opponent right now. That does not do anything. Alright, cool. We're fine now. <laughs> Even more mana. Don't have enough mana just yet. So, one, two, three. Play Dryad. Play this. Balak at my opponent. Yeah. We're just gonna bounce this, transmute it for another Titan, get another Titan, Balak at him a bunch. Haste it, kill them. All right, Tron again, geez, so much Tron. The good thing is that we have this, we have this cyborging like less than 13 seconds. We got the, we got the Tron cyborg plan well oiled up and ready to go. Lots of Tron today. Which is honestly not that surprising, right? With companions being nerfed, we imagine the Tron is gonna rise back to the top. It's a pretty fun sequence in that game, actually. When it goes like turn three card, and we just like still beat it. <laughs> still beat it moderately easily. Uh, so this is a turn three Titan, right? Yes, it is. When it moves to six and keeps. I think I'm interesting. I, the damage doesn't really matter. The only potentially annoying thing from this hand is the fact that we're not going to be able to use Vesuva to copy our Ghost Quarter. Never mind. Now we can. So we're going to play Ghost Quarter. Activate this Besuva copy ghost quarter. We're gonna draw step Blow up one of these <clears throat> We're still a little bit behind here, but at least this Stacy is allowing us to stay kind of like on par with what our opponent is doing and we're hopefully gonna be able to set them set them further behind than than we are setting ourselves that's that's the hope. That's the hope. It is gonna be what it's gonna be, but that is what it is. Silver's crying. <sighs> 
another Titan. So this means that we just make the same play again. And we're going to be able to Titan them next turn. So we can't blow up any more lands, unfortunately, for us. But we actually have double Titan, which is pretty hot. So let's go wide with some zombies. And uh, Tolaria West or Sydney Cross Chamber. I think I'm actually going to get Bodos Garrison going. Is that correct? So... Yeah, I guess that we can do that. All right. <clears throat> Bouncing stronghold. So we're probably not gonna be able to develop here because our opponent has the O stone, so we're not gonna be able to just like jam another Titan, but. I think my opponent punted there. When they searched up the power plant, they should have played the tower because now they're, like, they're, they're only looking towards two power plants instead of three power plants. Or they could be looking for like towards three power plants and three towers. If they just have Silas try it doesn't matter. Yeah, they just have it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. So best case scenario is our opponent... Oh, they main phase? Oh, this is like the absolute best case scenario. That's like the dream scenario. I wasn't even considering that happening. Pog? What does that do? I think it's better for us to Titan plus attack, though. And then we can Dryad on the following turn. That, I, that main phase crack. That's just not a good line. I don't know why my opponent would do that. It's so easy for me to, to refill from here. So... Yeah, let's do this. Uh, but I'm gonna save the Slayer Stronghold here. <clears throat> He's been born by cross and grip. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's possible, actually. That's that's actually possible. It's not it's not the craziest thing I've ever heard. I wonder. Like they're totally, they're gonna do the same thing again. Opponent, come on. Why would you not learn from your mistakes? I don't understand. So let's see if I can do everything. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, we can do everything. Sweet. It's a beautiful thing when everything just works, you know? Summon respect, one, two, three. Dryad. One, two, three. Delicate you. Always yes, always yield. Play this. Delicate you. Boom, boom. Some respect. For prime time. They don't think it's a mistake. Yeah, I mean, I, w I wouldn't have been able to win that game so easily if my opponent had held up. We would have probably won anyway, but it would have forced me to do a lot of things that I wouldn't have wanted to do. 
So it, it, it just puts me in an awkward position, like where, well, otherwise it's just like, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have to assume that they just don't, they didn't see that they're, they're, that it was a mistake for them to do that. It has to believe that they didn't think about the possibility that they slow me down, you know? By not, by not allowing me to attack. But anyway, 2-0. We lost to Tron earlier today, but our draws were not very good. Right now our draws are a little bit more closer to average. I don't think any of our draws have been like insane or anything, but they have been... Like we were like one untapped land away from casting, like we had like probably like 17 or like... How many? So that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have like a 14 outer or something like that and we hit it. Well, the other time around we had like a 12 outer or something like that and we didn't. So Yeah, let's let's, let's get that 50, you know, just to just to spike things up, you know. D5 AM we did get our 2-3 today, we did get our 4-1, but we didn't heck we didn't get our 5-0, so feels correct. Haven't seen Carn in Amulet Titan in a while, you like it? Yeah, Bionics, I was I'm not gonna say that I was like I, I was like one of the very first ones to start playing the card in the deck. I don't wanna say that I was the first one or anything, because like, I honestly don't know. Maybe there was somebody else. Um, this hand is kind of good, but it's also not good at the same time. I think I'm gonna keep it for science, but it's probably not a good draw. Not a good draw. It makes a lot of mana very, very quickly. Sign up for the problem with this list. Time to cast some boats. <laughs> uh, how's some mana? I don't. I don't take any responsibility for how well or terribly you do with this list. I built it for fun, so I hope that you have fun. I hope that at least you, you succeed in having fun. So that's gonna abort uh, most of five. Tron again. It's Boggles. Druid. So next turn we can float a mana, similar shadow bounce, replay land, explore. Elves! Wow, it's been so long since I've seen elves. It's been so long since I've seen elves. Probably since I played Dana Fisher in GP Austin. That's honestly kind of exciting, like the fact that now maybe you can actually play this kind of decks that were completely, completely destroyed by companions. It is kind of exciting. Just kill my opponent with a boat, I'm very happy. Oh yeah, those, those are the plays. So if we draw a Titan, we can just cast it, which is nice. Are you a Neutron player? You know how much fun Karn is? Oh yeah. I have a lot of fun with Karn. It's my my favorite way of building amulet, though I don't play it when it's not good. And because right now, like it just doesn't make sense. Like the metagame is just complete nonsense right now. Half of the people are playing their companions one last time and half of the other half are just trying to figure out the new metagame in advance. So since like the metagame is just nonsense, I figured I would play the most fun version. I crewed both with zombies, played scout, hasted scout for X axis. That's hot. I remember where you can play for admitted. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Fortunately, I don't play too much too much vintage, but I remember people complaining a lot about that. Dark times, yep. Card's very silly in vintage. <clears throat> Rob Dog Douglas, really, really tanking about this. Their second two, their turn second play. Creature spells can't be countered. 
Wow. Now that's a card. All right, don't counter my Dryad. I wonder if they're playing like some version of combo elves. That could be exciting. So I think I'm gonna just bog, I guess myself, whatever, doesn't matter. So we can draw Valakut, we can draw a Titan. Let's say that we draw Tolaria West. If we draw Tolaria West, that's three to transmute. One, two, three. Okay, so I guess that I have to play the semi Chamber in case I draw Tolaria West. It's worse if I draw, ha, no forest here. So they can't attack, that's awesome. Cloudstone Elves is dope. Yeah, it, that deck was used to be dope. I remember I, I, I bought the deck like back in the day in Moto. Never bought it in paper. Wait, what? Oh, Dryad. Oh, wow. That makes sense, I guess. I totally forgot for a second that this makes their dudes encounterable. All right, so we have a turn to draw a Titan or a Valakut, and if we drew either, we're going to win. I guess Tolera West is also a good draw, and uh, I guess that Karn is an okay draw. Another Dryad. I guess they might not have lethal just yet. They might not have lethal, so I guess I'm just gonna chill here. So Valakut wins, Titan wins, Tolaria West wins, Karn doesn't win, but it gives me options. And uh, that's kind of it. Collected company. Harmonize. Holy crap, my opponent's going hella deep over there. Uh oh. Tantarino. My opponent says whoops lol. Whoops lol indeed. Um just bow them, right? We bowed the the one that taps for mana. The life gain doesn't matter. <laughs> Throw an attack in there. Just to test the waters, you know? Just to see what's up. So next turn we can plus on the Sky Sovereign. Alternatively, we can... What is this? So they gain a bunch of life. What is that is? All right, sweet, GG's. We will tighten. Uncounterable prime time. Hell yeah.
Oh no, they gained life. So Valakut plus a bounce land. Kill you and kill you. Oh yes, oh shit. Cool. So play this, copy here, kill, and kill. I guess I might have I might have had lethal. I didn't do the math. This is more fun. What's this? I guess I still have lethal. Cool. So I guess even if our opponent hadn't made that mistake, we would have gotten there anyway. Uh, these members, thank you very much. Uh, explosives, thank you very much. Carnes can go. And we want Sky Sovereign. Packed out. Explore out? Not sure about the Rex Age, definitely not the Force, but I might want the Rex Age in case they have something like Damping Sphere, which they oftentimes do. I think that's fine. I don't know, 43 viewers right now. Thanks everybody for hanging out today. Hope you're having a good time. We're playing some. Karn Amulet, as you can see. And having some fun. Karn is fun. I like Karn. It's a good time. I always have a good time when I play Karn. Triple Amulet. That might be a little bit too much. Uh, this is kind of hot, actually. So, how does this look? It's kind of awkward because we're not going to be able to play Stacy for a while. But we still have turn 3 boat, which seems pretty good. So, I probably want to bottom the explosives. Not sure about this at all, but I think it's the correct thing to do. And tap green source. Never lucky. I guess that we can draw a green bounce land. That would be pretty good here for us. Are we not running this deck to slam as many balls as possible? I mean, slamming balls is definitely pretty high in the, in, the, in this deck's priorities. So, just want to throw that out there. Elvish Visionary Resolves. They seem to be a mono green. Vesuva. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna amulet and then I'm going to Vesuva their forest. This will untap and I will play Stacy. And now we actually have Titan next turn. Which is pretty good. Pretty pretty good. Imperious Perfect. These are cards that I have probably not seen in years. It's pretty pretty cool that our opponent's bringing it back. I mean, I guess they might have Force, right? So I guess the correct thing to do here and the proper sequencing to do it is to do this first. Then off of the Ghost Quarter, we play Amulet. 
then we naturally play our board of cards and this makes sure that we are gonna get both triggers and we're not gonna be able to haste so since we're not able to haste since we're not gonna be able to haste I think that the best thing to do is gonna be to cast prime time get a green bounce land semi growth chamber plus because the other one doesn't really matter so we can make it a T West we float plenty of mana Then we bounce this here. Well, we play the boat. Boat, yeah. So even through dumping sphere, we can pay for for our pact pretty easily. If they somehow play a blood minute here, good job, opponent. They wanted it more than I did. And I guess I can like peace within my prime time, but then I can still activate Sky Sovereign. So it's not even that bad for us. What is this scored? Genesis Wave. Yeah, that's not. That is not. <laughs> that is just not. My opponent's playing a super weird version of Elves over there. Okay, so we can pay... I think we just pay, like, the easiest. The easiest way, the most obvious way. It's probably the correct way here. So we don't care about killing any of this. Like, these cards just do not matter. So that being the case... I think I'm just gonna Sombos here. Seems correct. Yeah, Genesis Wave just did not sound like a good card. So Field plus Key West. No, because that doesn't trigger the field. Field plus Misty? Yeah, sure. Field plus Misty allows me to transmute. Do I have enough? No, I don't have double green. So I cannot transmute on Titan, Titan again. Why no Dryad Pact? Because... Yeah, I guess I had two land drops, so I could have played this, then this. Yeah, sure. Dry Pack was probably like the better line here. Uh, the good thing is that we actually are fine. Like, even if they have the, the Forest Walk Elf, we can um, activate Stacy, bounce this, and we don't have any forest, so we can just block, which is cute. <laughs> Goddamn run one? Hell yeah, I was a mana. Let's go. Wombo Combo, how you doing? Elvish Promenade. Do you folks know that this was a card? I was not aware that it was this was a card. I do like these elves tokens. They're pretty cool. Yeah, 
EDH players know it. <laughs> All right. So I guess now we can do the nasty things. We could have done it the other turn as well, but... It's possible I might have been too BC just messing around. Uh, but I could tell her was here. Or semi growth. So kill here. Kill. Oh no, I stacked the triggers wrong. Whoops. I'm just playing terribly. <laughs> Oh, I'm just playing so bad. It doesn't matter. Just allowing my opponent to gain two life. Good stuff. Good stuff. Could also get some home if I run it. I don't. <laughs> Wait, they just took everything? They didn't even attempt to trade with my Titan? Cool. Kill ya. Got it. Uh, I guess that they were trying to set up Elvish, Elvish Arch Druid or whatever. But it's just like, it just doesn't matter. They don't have any outs. Hoof incoming. Hoof would be pretty good, actually. Would Hoof get there? It might. Cord for Hoof? Yeah, I mean, if they, if they cord, though, they just stab their dude so they can't attack. And I can kill the hoof in response to the trigger. Watch out, we're about to get natural order. That would have been hot, actually, if my opponent somehow bogged Moto so they could actually cast natural order in modern. Never counted how many dudes they had, they had seven dudes. And we had two Valakut triggers. <laughs> Counting is well, if they go for the hoof line, we would be the blocker, so we would have to count. So <laughs> Alright, so we have a Lurus a Lurus player over there. Uh sure. Turn one amulet, turn two explore, develop my mana, turn three Lurus, turn three uh, Carno, probably for Worm, and then we can cast the Worm on the following turn. Sounds pretty good. Turn three Karn into turn four Worm. Sounds reasonable against the Lurus deck. Sounds pretty, pretty good. <clears throat> they could be Lurus John, in which case they might discard our amulet on turn one and then we're screwed. Okay. It is burn or prowess. Or that one. You know what's a good draw though? This is a good draw.
how are the new companions feeling? Uh, so the rules are still not active in Magic Online. So like our opponent is actually able to do whatever they want here. Is this like the saddest timeline? Where they have exactly lethal through my Asusa. So I guess that I want to draw towards an amulet here. Summon respect. Does that do anything for me? Oh yes, I can actually card and plus in on this guy. Turn it into a 1-1. One, one. That sounds pretty good. The only problem with this line is the fact that um, we are not going to be able to beat a subset of cards. See the like final mode to know with Maribel land destruction. Uh, yeah, post it, Wombo Combo. Sure. Code Outfitter resolves. They should that shouldn't do anything. Exactly. <clears throat> So we just pinocchio our opponent. Which is pretty cute. Cigar the Save resolves. So we just take it here. Now we're gonna minus Karn for explosives played for two. And we can Titan two. Can we Titan in haste? I think we can Titan in haste. So this is six mana. We can one, two, three. Then we garrison off the Titan. We garrison once. We do the other thing twice. Okay, so I, th I think we just get, we just get there right now. So play castle, play this, play this. Just do green, whatever. Karn so good. Um, so this summoner's backed. Primeval Titan. Cast Prime Time. So we're gonna get Stronghold and. We don't have... Oh, I guess we should have left Kremlin Vestige in play. That might have been a mistake on my part. Because now we don't have a... Oh, I should oh, I should have gotten, like, a white source. Should, I should have gotten a white source of this, so I could have gotten Valakut. I didn't think about that. I was thinking about getting Silencia Sanctuary. I guess it's going to be exactly the same. I hate when my mana goes to waste. So bounce this. Move to combat. Attack. Yes. Semi growth chamber and rot farm. What else scares I guess? No rot farm. Uh, we can e for two. 
And that's what I'm sitting up here. Because Karn can minus for explosives. Bounce this. Bounce this. Gonna die to mana burn. Uh, those were the times. Remember mana burn chat? I remember. So unless they have a hasty threat, should be good to go. We can pay for a pack pretty easily. Have a ton of mana next turn because of Azusa. Got him. <laughs> this is a big brain play. <laughs> Thank you, Spike. How's it going? How was the how was the stream? All right, so we want this. We want all of these. Whoops. Yeah, I, I do miss damage on the stack a lot, actually. I, I used to enjoy damage on the stack. I was probably not amongst the majority um, in terms of enjoying damage on the stack. Most people kind of hated damage on the stack, but I actually really enjoyed um, damage on the stack. It, I thought it was like a layer that if you could master, you could do a lot of very, very cool tricks with. Let's try something like this. It wasn't playing with damage one to the stack. So if you had a 1-1 one, on one your opponent, yeah, make Mog Fanatic great again for real, right? Um, like let's say your opponent had a my, my favorite thing was with Archimiba. Archimiba was a two mana one three that you can discard a card in order to flip its power and toughness. So what you would do is your opponent had a two-two, right? And you had your Akamiba. So your your Akamiba attacked and your opponent blocked with their 2-2. You discarded a card for to flip its its uh, power and toughness. So now it's a 3-1. You would uh, say the damage went on the stack. So there's three damage that are gonna go on the stack to kill the, the other thing. And there's two damage that's gonna go on the stack to kill your Akamiba. And with that on the stack, you discard another card and you would flip it again. And then your Akamiba would be a 1-3 with two, with 2 damage on it, while uh, your opponent's 2-2 two, two will have 3 damage that were going to go on the stack instead of the 1. So it was pretty cool. You could do some, some pretty neat tricks with it. Um, do I like this hand? It's only missing a Titan, really, so I think I like it. Bottom of the Ghost Squatter. Oh no, I should have bottomed the Basic Force. I forgot that this deck lay Seek Moth. Whoops. Okay, so no turn trick, turn two kill. That's good for us because we couldn't be a turn two kill. That's nice. Yeah, we're we're totally gonna die because I bought on the stupid. Ugh. Totally gonna die because I bought on the stupid. What's his name? Ghost Quarter. Just threw up in my mouth a little bit. What the fuck? Yeah, it's, it was great. Yeah, Steve, you could do like two damage. That doesn't do anything. Um, with Steve, for example, you could like block with Steve, like your opponent attack with a 3 1, and you block with Steve, you would put the one damage on the stack. And then, because um, we're gonna name giant here. And then, like the, then you could sack Steve when the damage was already on the stack. So Steve was, not that Steve is not the man right now, but Steve back then was like, OP. It's like an overbearing two layers. <laughs> Got my wife by saving air from a castle. Oh, uh, that's funny. At least we're up against somehow, yeah. So Titan doesn't do anything really. Explosives would be nice. Karn would be nice. That doesn't do anything. One, 
to can actually haste here, which is pretty pog. Red, white. Get in there, Dryads. Sim is good. Looking forward to new modern. Yeah, me too. It's kind of like it's kind of odd the space where we are we are we are at right now. Like with some people still playing their their companion decks, and then some other people just like moving on to the the next thing. It's pretty weird. I don't I don't know. Don't love it. Karn, please. Changes going to the effect into effect on Thursday. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be super weird today and tomorrow. Red and white. I know that my opponent can like redirect, and they also can just give this protection, which is definitely the proper play. Yeah. It's good to know that they would play into it. Like if I had a dismember or something, I could have just like dismember. I guess I could have, yeah, I could have just dismembered the spells guide. So it feels like I'm just dead to a land drop from my opponent. What is going to be in a new tactic? I've not finished making it. <laughs> nice. Activates layers twice is for damage to face? No, there's a spells guide. Or they can just do what we just they just did, right? They are kind of taking damage from this Sunbaked Canyon. It's for damage to face. Yeah, I guess we should have activated here. Yeah, I think I actually made a mistake there. I think I activated on the wrong Dryad. If I had activated on the other Dryad, they would have taken four, they would be at five, and now we would have lethal. Or I guess I guess we would just, just force the chomp with the giver. Yeah, that was definitely a potentially pretty big punt. We can't activate twice, unfortunately, because they can just, like, if we activate here, they just block. But yeah, we, we cannot do this at instant speed, unfortunately. Gruel mill. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's funny. Saludos de Buenos Aires, keep up the good work, enjoy the emotions. Oh, thank you, Polito, I appreciate it. Bienvenido al, al stream. So if I activate now, they just block and give it pro. Yeah, so it doesn't really do anything for me. I definitely punted last turn pretty hard, actually. It's gonna be a huge deal. I hope we get punished. Path to exile. Cause this is the it's the fair thing to happen, you know? To get punished when you make a mistake like that one. And we also made a mistake by bottom in the ghost squatter. That that was probably the most egregious one of the mistakes. If we had access to the ghost squatter, I would feel so much safer right now. 
Can you activate bounce and play stronghold? No, because like if I activate and I make this a 4-4, right? Because I have to do it main phase. Then I play the bounce land, right? Uh, my opponent just blocks here and give the spell sky protection. So we end up in the same situation. No, it, it doesn't work that way, folks. It just doesn't. Because like they just block the 4-4 four, four and give this protection from green. We're, this, we're in the same spot. So like your line of pumping both drives just doesn't do what you want it to do. Now that is a good draw. In case you were wondering. That is what we call never punished. I think I'm going to play around this member here. Even if they dismember the triads, they go down to one. But we don't die to the Nexus. Sure. Spell Skite again, you got it. Always yes, always yield. Uh, we are still hasting, right? But we need to kill the Space Cat first in order to haste. Right? We're still hasting. We have exact mana to haste. Do you think you're not going to see a lot less face and legacies since it can't turn one anymore? Oh yeah, it's going to see a lot less play. It might still be a contender, but like a lot of their of Gerula's mana is a lot of Gerula's mana is like um, like Lotus Petal and Lions and Elias Lions Eye Diamond, so it's fast mana. So like the cost of Gerula gets a lot worse. Also, LED is now a blank, right? Well, I guess that you can sack the LED discard your hand and use the three mana from the LED to put the gear in your hand. Yeah, it's just gear is now unplayable. Seems like you're not encountering a lot of resist resistance. Maybe I'm just playing perfectly. We played against Tron twice. One of them with, with Giganta, the other one without. We played against... Um, Mono green elves like Genesis wave elves, which was cute, but it wasn't really deck. So that was kind of a buy there, and now we just beat Hammer Time, which was pretty close. Uh, we we whiffed for a long time, and they also whiffed on a on a on a third lane for a really long time as well. So last game was great, but not perfect. You had a good draw, though. Did I have a good draw? I I mean it was I won on turn nine, right? <laughs> if I had, had a good draw, I would have won a lot earlier. <laughs> I did make I did make a couple of mistakes though. I did make a couple of mistakes. Like bottom in the ghost quarter was definitely a mistake. I was kinda of like autopiloting there and I wasn't stopping to think. Um so bottom in the ghost quarter was definitely a mistake. And then not activating the not activating like I guess targeting the wrong thing with the with the stronghold was also a mistake. Was also a mistake, excuse me. Came here for Titan and stay for the 80% and both memes. Don't let me down. Found the next one I believe in the year. Thank you, Jose. Thank you so so much for for those words of support. So this hand is like super slow, but it's kind of fine. Which is like the worst kind of hand. Like, we're just one bounce land away from, from hasting. 
with the Dryad. Ugh. I'm gonna keep it. The only thing that's really sad is the fact that Pact is usually a blank against all the Lurus deck, with the exception of exactly Lurus Burn. So we don't need to care about Garbage Companions anymore. You think so? <laughs> you think so? We're gonna see. We're gonna continue. We're gonna continue seeing this for probably until Thursday. You had Mold this. Yeah, it's it's probably the Mold again. It's it's definitely like super close. If we were playing against like Lurus Burn, I think I would keep it, but against like Lurus Prowess, I probably wouldn't. And it is Lurus Prowess. Yeah, so this is oof. This is not a good draw against Lurus Prowess, unfortunately. It's medium against Jund. So pretty good against Burn, I think, or like reasonable against Burn. Pretty bad against Black Red Prowess in reasonable against John, but not great. Bounce land, please. Yeah, that's okay. So as long as we find the land next turn or the following turn, we should be fine. If we don't find it land, then we're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the whole turn one bubble, Soul Scar Mage. Oh, it must be that version with Goyfs. Yeah, this is a weird version of this deck. It's kind of like in between Jund and the Prowess deck, which is pretty odd. Um, hmm. So we do have access to Pact of Negation. We would love to not have to Pact of Negation because that means that we can Pact on the following turn. So it would be great to not have to Pact of, to pact of Negation. But if we have to, it's not the end of the world. Now the next question is, can we haste next turn? It seems like it's like aggro Jund or mid, mid range prowess. Yeah, it's somewhere in between. I do know what's good, Elf Kid. I do know what's good. I can play Dredge again. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that you can. But honestly, you could play you could play Dredge before as well. It was just not a good idea. <laughs> not blocking here. And you can farm me with Titans. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Cling to dust? Oh no, my explorer, which now makes your goif smaller. <laughs> also, using the blood, the cliffs there is a little bit questionable. Is there another red source? Goifo. All right, so what's the line here? Field of the day. <laughs> ah, this game. Okay, so we packed for Titan. Can we haste? We can haste if we want to. No, we can't. No, yes, we can. We can haste if we want to. Is hasting better than valakuting everything away? and getting a shit ton of zombies. <laughs> yeah, I can Valakut and Vesuva, that's, that's why. So I think if I Valakut and Vesuva, I just clean their entire board. I can also Valakut plus Bog, which seems enticing. I think Valakut plus Bog is gonna be the it's gonna be the line, and I guess we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get zombies. So Field of the Dead. Green, green, two colorless. 
this thing. So, Valakut plus Bojuki Bog. Bog trigger goes in last. Trigger here. Trigger here. Get some zombies. I have 18 damage. Oh. Man. I mean, it still seems pretty tough for my opponent to come back from this one. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think I can lose. Maybe I had, maybe I did have lethal. So I guess I get I had like Vesuva. So Vesuva, Valaka, that's six damage. We copy Bordos Garrison. We replay this, that's six more. Yeah, we had 18. Plus, yeah, we had 18. Opponent plays Blood Moon, we packed it. <laughs> They play Blood Moon, we just backed it, we win anyway, easy. <laughs> Alright, give me those dismembers, baby. Um, so we take these out, we bring in the Worm, we bring in the Uda. I'm probably Bailoth as well. Cyborg, something like this, this looks good to me. Should I buy full Uro then? Uh, I think it's probably gonna continue to be a staple in the sideboard. I don't think you want more than one, maybe two at most. It is definitely gonna be a mainstay in the... It's definitely gonna be a mainstay in the, uh, in the amulet box, for sure. It doesn't excuse my puns. <laughs> I mean, is it, is it a punt if you can't lose anyway? Is it really a punt if you can't lose anyway? Ooh, that's a great card in many decks. I think it's a good buy, although it's expensive. Yeah, I, I think it's just a safe bet, honestly. Dirk says it's bad, so it must be bad. Oh, yeah. Stonks. We, we have a meme for that, okay? This is, this is a quality stream, so we have a meme for that. You think you're improved, you can play more than 60? Uh, you can, like, do you want to though? Probably not. Some decks uh, do care less about playing 60, more than 60 cards than others. I did test playing 61 and 14 in Amulet and I didn't like it. Don't make me buy more foils, you coward. How about 6115? It's probably worse than 6114. Why should you play more than 60 besides playing with your own? Yeah, that's kind of like the point. If there's an actual reason, like an actual payoff that justifies playing more than 60 cards, then that's cool, but if there kind of isn't, then yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth it. It's not a huge drawback to play more than 60, but you shouldn't do it for a reason. Yeah, exactly. It, it's not a huge drawback. It's a drawback though. Team or shift needs more. It doesn't need more. It doesn't mind more. But I don't think you can prove to me that it's like strictly correct to be playing more than 60 cards in Rock Shift. Or maybe you can prove to me, I don't know. So if my opponent has no interaction... No interaction? Damn it, that's interaction. I was probably gonna pair up with a lightning bolt to kill my dryad and make me very sad. 
Does that mean I develop mana here? I think it does, actually. Because, <clears throat> like, if the Dryad happens to survive, we're still in fine shape. Yo, Freed Mania with the Twitch from sub for the ninth month in a row. Thank you so much for the support. Welcome to the Primetime Stronghold. Have you tried asking the nice enough to kill your Dryad? I have not tried. Opponent, oh, can you please not kill my Dryad? <laughs> Upload this link to YouTube, how to speed run modern with amulet. That's a great, great name. That's a great name for a league. What is this? Manamorphose. I guess I actually don't want to F6 here. I don't want to yield to these triggers. Just want to get my Lotus Black 20 so I can sub. It is long over the... <laughs> Thank you, Hudson, man. I appreciate it. Is this a Brab Decay? Just play a Goif opponent. Just play, just play a Goif. It's pretty good, right? It's a 2 mana... 2 mana 2-3? Two, That's pretty good. It's pretty good, pretty good rate, you know. <laughs> Bet they can I double their them. Yeah. Ooh, they did play a golf. No blocks here, of course. Oh my God! They just passed the turn. What are we gonna do here? So we're gonna pact, obviously. But what are we gonna do afterwards? So I think we're gonna go for the bog line again. So basically what I'm trying to figure out is whether I should... I'm trying to figure out whether I should kill this goy for right now so I can make sure that the board is clear next turn. Anybody tell you your kindness is only exceeded by your good looks? Oh, Scotland. Oh. oh, thank you so much. That's like the nicest thing ever anybody has ever told me in my entire life. Vesuva, Stronghold, Valakid Bog. Yeah, I'm trying to think what it's gonna be. So I guess that I can just dismember next turn, right? With the ball on the stack, so there's no reason for me to do it now, and I take I take a little bit less damage actually. That pause right there was not was not exciting to me. That was potentially mean. So this is Titan mana. We can actually do better than Besu. We can just get Crumbling Vestige. We did use both land drops, so we have to watch out be uh, because of that. Do I guess that we just lethal them? So, Crumbling Vestige, Slayer Stronghold. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe they're playing Force of uh, Force of Despair. That would be really hot. Can you imagine my opponents playing Force of Despair over there? That'd be insane. So Valakut Ojukabog. 
bog u valicate u this amulet amulet dismember here black one a two even if they sack the seal of fire still fine and exaxis GQ fetch Sometimes it's easy mode, you know? Bye great, thank you for the follow. Sometimes it's just easy mode, you know? Let's take a nice little Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Feels good. Feels good. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, this was fun. <laughs> this was fun. I had a good time. The O3 ape, it's a sloth. Come on, Elfkeed, you know better. <laughs> if you're gonna 5-0, I better play League right now. I mean, clearly the deck is broken, right? We figured that out just now. Pretty straightforward. Proof Karn is the best. Yeah, easy. Easy. The perfect league always feels pretty good. All right, any thoughts on the deck? I mean, again, any any conclusions that I can draw from this is just pretty much irrelevant because, like, we played against a bunch of decks that we're not gonna be facing anymore in like in four days. So, like, any for. Like in any way of trying to justify my decisions is just like it's just a waste of time. This is just a list that I enjoyed and I went two three. One of those losses being to Neoform where we died on turn one and turn two, so it didn't it didn't really count in my book. So two two. Um then we went four and one and then we went five and oh. So that's pretty solid. Is that exactly eighty percent? No, that's not exactly eighty percent. That's like seventy something percent. Ugh. I wasn't able to achieve the 80% today, folks. I apologize deeply for that. I am so sorry that I was not able to to, to provide the 80% content that you have come to expect from me, you know? <sighs> very sad, very sad. But it does feel good to end up with, with a nice little 5-0. I think I hadn't 5-0 in Modern in a really long time. Only five trophies this season. That's so sad, so sad. Uh, but it is, it was fun. I had a good time playing this, this deck. Karn is awesome. I, we did get to boat some folks, which I, which I had a good time with. So I overall had a, had an amazing stream today. So if you're watching, thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here and hanging out. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.